And welcome to this week's edition of the John Peacock Coaches Show. I'm John Masoni here with Venice Indian head football coach John Peacock and coach uh, uh, a, a game that uh, with with high expectations regarding the the, the energy or, or I should say the talent level of both teams with Palmetto coming into town uh, against the Venice Indians and uh, turned out to be a little one sided with a 51 16 win for the Venice Indians. Yeah, I thought we played really well on offense, and uh, I thought the defense did a great job all night. Uh, we we gave up a touchdown late with the backups yes. in, but yes, you know we went in the halftime. It was uh, it was it was uh, thirty thirty eight, not nothing. It was it was. I know it was, we we were we weren't running clock yet. We it was we were we were we were a like two short points away from yeah, that. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I I thought you know one. I thought we played great. Forty four ten. Forty-four ten. Yeah, I thought we played great. I thought, uh, I think that as a team that we're getting better each week, and you know that's our main thing as a staff and as a team. Is I, I told these guys and what we talk about is you know at some time there's going to be a moment in our season where we're going to answer the bell, and you don't know when that moment's going to be. And but if you're not preparing for it each and every week, and you're not getting better each and every week, then when that time does arise, you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to respond to it. Overall, though, let's say the last five games, let's say, or in particular. You're watching how everybody is taking a turn during the game, stepping up. You've got, you know, you've got Jaden Glasser, a quarterback, and he makes a throw to, you know, Jay Sparksdale. Or you've got Alvin Johnson with three touchdowns. Or you have Gator Wilder with a long run. Everybody sort of, it's sort of like it's when it's their turn in the rotation, let's say, or their opportunity. There's a lot of people taking advantage of those opportunities, and you can see it with the score yeah. and the yardage. We got a lot of good players, and they, they do take advantage of when they get a, get that opportunity. And, um, you know, w- one thing, one thing's for sure is that we're tr- we're we're starting to figure out everybody how where they fit in, yeah, and what their role is, and everyone's kind of accepted their role, and that's the main thing with the team is if when you get people that are truly willing to accept their role and they 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 grasp their role and they want to really be good at what they do and what their role is, and they're not being selfish and you know i want this many carries and i want that many carries one thing's neat with our running backs like it's <laughs> it's almost to the point where i'd say it's kind of weird like like gator friday night's like no it, you know it's just you know they rotate every series right so one goes the next goes um and i don't know i think I, I think um alvin started this week he did so that means gator will start this week right right you know and then they'll just rotate every series you know and and gator was having a great game and it was his turn to go and he said no 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 but Alvin go, he's on. We, we both we're both about to have a hundred. Right, right. And um, you know, so that just shows you how unselfish these guys are, and, and uh, the amount of carries. I'm not sure the exact number, but you know, Gator has very few carries the last three weeks. Oh, a lot, no. of a you, lot of production. You had mentioned before it saying like he carried the ball eight times, but only got hit four. Right. You know, because he scored, or he went out of bounds on a play, or whatever, and that got that lends itself to you know, obviously longevity in regards to that position right, in particular. Yeah, no doubt. Because you know, you say like. Wide receivers are out there all the time as well, but they they get they get four touches or three touches. That's a pretty decent game where it's six touches, and they yeah. only get hit four times. I don't where think running we've backs had a, get hit all the time. I don't think we had a game over a, a four catch total. Um, maybe, maybe Barksdale had early, six early well. on. Yeah, there yeah. was a couple of two, but other than that, right, four seems to be the max. Yeah. And but everybody else lines up and gets two, three, right. So and two, I think a, two to touchdown. If you, you know? get if you get four catches in a game, you're probably leading receptions. Yeah. In yeah. the game, and some of them are, you know, our pitches and stuff too. That counts for a, a, th- a deal. But you know, um, Zakaro Lewis, you know, started off the night with a punt return, punt spectacular. Return and, you know, he's doing a great job. We're, we're trying to get him the ball in certain situations on little little reverse plays and just getting the ball to him and let him let him make something happen, create something because he's he's special with the ball in the hand. Yeah, you know, he can turn turn basically nothing into a touchdown. And within that, in that punt return, we'll probably see in the highlights. I'm sure. And and. You'll see where he sort of backpedals and then beats somebody to the corner, and then it looks like it's going to be a 20-yard return. Right. And it turns into a 674-yard touchdown where he's able to sort of maneuver his way around. And what I think is really cool, talking about that, everybody being unselfish, but in, on a run like that where people start peeling back, watching our guys on even on offense or punt return or whatever it may be. Kept Put their hands pe- up. And peeling back and putting their hands up so to not block on me in the back but still shielding him right. so he can get up, so he can get upfield. Those kind of things are 
I mean, if, if there's one thing I can say about there's always something about the season that's sort of special, it now that's that is really kicking in because you know in a situation like that where you're excited, kids going to put their hands out. I mean, it's right. natural to do that, and uh, I think that's that's been a really interesting situation. Well, but it's again, been coached, you know. So yeah, but I yeah. but I know that. But, but I'm saying you know right, you, you know you're you can right. coach it forever. You I mean the one thing that always for the, to this day I don't care what level it's at. A punt goes up in the air and it starts bouncing around and it looks like everybody gets met, met, uh, hypnotized by the ball and they're all looking at it. They're five feet away from it. All you need to do is take one weird, weird bounce or somebody pushes you into it right? and it's just run off the field. Yeah, I mean, in this case, the block in the back is something that you don't need to do, especially when it's guys ahead of you. Or or taking a you know <coughs> a blindside block. You know, that's Correct. the thing we, Correct. we try to take care of. But yeah, you're, you're definitely right. And then, of course, offense we're talking about, but then the defense, they're taking their turns now too. Again, you look at the stat line on defense. You see the guys that are supposed to be doing what they're, yeah, they're getting to be doing. used to. They're getting used to playing with each other. Getting used to yeah. figuring out whose job is what, and they're not trying to do someone else's job, and they're trying to do their own job. And yeah, we're definitely getting better on on all aspects of the game, really. Yeah, defensive line, especially, starting to get in there. They're they're yeah. they're mixing there together, and even you see it even with the twos when they're getting in there, they're putting as much pressure. The twos got in there in the first play. There was pressure on the quarterback right. against their ones. So that was that was a good deal. So with that, we'll take our first break here tonight. Come back uh, to Bogies. We're always again we're here at Bogies for the show, and again we we went we went we went really off the charts today. We did. We did. <laughs> Shepherd's pie, yeah. uh, which is I guess I, I think it's a good seasonal. It's on meal. a special list, and you know how to give it a try. Yeah, no doubt. And I had the uh, ch- chipotle chicken bowl, which I think I think just uh, that did look pre- good. Preview. I think that that'll be what you're eating next week. I think I am. <laughs> so with that, we'll take a break. Come back here to Bogies and watch the highlights. From the 51-16 victory over the Palmetto Tigers of the Venice Indians. See you back here shortly. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet. State College of Florida. Bogies of Venice. Venice Pest Control. Sarasota Ford. Absolute Aluminum. Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza. Douglas Jeep and lightning fast car wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And we're back here at the John Peacock Coach Show. Coach, uh, you know, when you, again, the last couple of weeks, we've, we've had some pretty significant scores put up, put up against the other team. Um, which lends it to be very a lot of highlights, a lot of good things to look at. So I think we need to get to that because I think fifty one is going to be show a lot of highlights. Yeah, let's tonight. take a look. We'll do that. But like we said, we started off we started off pretty pretty good. The second series on defense was the, probably the worst play we had. But you see Ryan Daly comes up here with a nice sack, and uh, Shari kind of gets in the mix there too. So Ryan's been like starting the games off super super hot in the backfield. Yes, give him credit yes. for that. Almost get a block punt. We teach them not to jump, but they just <laughs> cannot help themselves. But, here's, it, but it leads to this. Here's yeah. the punt return by CJ Arzakarl. And nobody, nobody's, nobody even coming close, and then here we go. Yeah, so we got a nice lead block there. He almost trips himself up, and then said when that head goes back, it's over. <laughs> Touchdown. Everybody's excited. That was a, that's, that's good when everyone's going down there and excited about it. Yeah. So, um, great, great play by CJ. Great play by our punt return unit. No, not, never giving up on the play because that ball bounced around a little bit, and they're right. all ready for it. See Shari there chasing the ball down. He's getting better each week. Um, like I said, angles to the like running to the play, angles to the ball. He's doing all kinds yeah. of stuff. That was Eli Jones. Yeah, Eli knocks the ball down. One. There's Jake Sparksdale. Nice catch. Good throw there. Thrown into a spot where he can make extra yardage too. Right. You know what I mean. So that that's really good. Another play by by CJ. That was a. Going to be a play that was zero yard gain, and he makes about a thirty yard run here, which is really nice. Alvin here, offensive line blocked really well. They were they were uh, finishing plays, and you know everything's looking really good up front. We're getting yeah. better each week. There, a little wrinkle here with uh, Gator in the backfield and the Wildcat, and take it down to the one. Some good blocking there. You yeah, see they the quarterback were, quarterback worried, even yeah. getting in the mix with the block in there. You see everybody. You know that's you know that's just a you know that's what you want as a coach is uh, having that type of type of team that is is doing those little things for each other. And Alvin punches it in from one Alvin yard. there, yeah. And we get a little we get a penalty and back up to the eight. And we just said, oh, we'll just run it back in for our two point conversion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And and um, that's been an interesting situation. I mean, you get to show a lot of different looks to people. Yeah, we got that stuff. It's been uh, it's 
it's it's really worked out well. Um, that was a nice Ashari, that was a nice play by him. Big big hit on the quarterback. And it makes you think twice. You know, next time you want to tuck the ball. There's a play run. later on where you something you thought twice yeah. about it also. And see Ryan Ryan Daly there getting back back to the quarterback. I think Dalen's really, really becoming a guy that doesn't want anybody to catch the ball, no matter yes, what the Yes, you're right. Yeah, he's doing really good, playing really well. Uh, you see Ryan Downs there with a big run, brought him in, that 12-yard gain. Yeah, 12 yards, it looks looks like six, and it's really right. 12. And Gator, like, he, he's at a different level right now. I mean, he just really is. He's practicing hard, harder than he's ever practiced, both him and him and um, Alvin, and it's, we, it's showing on Friday night. We're figuring that he, the first run he gets used to it, then the second one he breaks it. Right, second one, no one touches him for a touchdown. And first one, he gets about twenty yards and figures out where everybody's at. Matulovic has got he's got that that sure handedness about him, and here they go. There's the second skater right here, and just they're mm. there, and then they're not. And yeah. that's that's kind of weird. How it's weird about. He's it. got elite speed. He's got elite balance, and he's uh, he's really at a different level right now. Everybody that I that has that has watched him, you know, especially live, sitting with them or sitting with me or whatever, they they comment on how he can cut in the hole. How he can oh, make it's, it it's unbelievable! It, well, his, his balance and he is—he is—he's not overly strong in the weight room. He really is maybe average strength or below average. And but his his natural strength, like man strength, yeah, is unbelievable. Like when you put your hands on him when he's running through a hole or hitting yeah. a bag, it's just—it's really—it's really special. Yeah, no doubt. Ryan Downs on that last run, but yep, again doing a good job with that. And there's. Another catch That's by Jace. Sale. Yeah. That's the way it looks when you, you as a quarterback take what they give you and, and I think you know, move the chains. He finds those guys because him and Kasadi, like we talked about before, they're, they're like sort of like they're they're the guys who start all this everything rolling when they where they get they get open and they right. they can make plays. They're faster than you look. They look. There's a Carl. The Carl, yeah, he had to leave the game after that one. Got a little thigh bruise, um, but hopefully he, hopefully he's gonna be all right Friday night. See Lester gets in the mix here. We haven't yeah. I haven't talked about him a lot in offense lately, but we're going to get him more involved now moving forward. Uh, I think you know, just took a while to, like I said, it took a while to figure everything out and figure out what we're doing with everybody. And here's another run by Alvin. Um, Alvin. No, you just 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 having uh, Charles on the field in offense. Oh yeah, make everybody it, think yeah, they, it does. Here comes one. You know, they're going to be. Yeah, it changes. It definitely changes everything. It's kind of like. Damon on the field on defense last right, year. Right, And Alvin takes that one in from about 12 yards out. But Still had the light show going. That was good. We It didn't work at the, at the, on, when you were coming out, though. I don't know if you noticed that or not. We uh -huh. were, They had some prepared, and just, it just didn't kind of register. And then uh, we got the tech, one of our, the tech people involved, and it Here's one of our two-point plays. This is a yeah. pretty good play. Kasadi played quarterback before, too. so He looked comfortable. He had a little, little, uh, nice little touch there. And Dalen gets, get, gets himself in the end zone for a two-pointer. Dalen had a nice kickoff return too. We did had he a did. really good uh, kickoff return night. I think we were averaging uh, fifty yards of return. Yes. You see defense right there getting to the ball, being right there, and that's their yep. that was their guy. That's the that's their yeah. leading receiver. Lodge. We kind of put him in check all night. We did we did a good job against him. I think he scored late against the late. The He's the guy who scored late yep. late in the game. Yes. Here we we came up with a stop and, and held him to a field goal. That was uh, Jackson Moss coming in there, yeah. making a nice play. But great job of the defense. I'm surprised they kicked the field goal from there, but yeah. we did help hold them out of the end zone. Yeah. Let's see, Chris Lee makes a play here with a batted ball. Yeah, I wasn't sure where he was going because it looked like he was trying to throw at number 75 there for a second. Then I, I realized that there was somebody out to the left. You'll see here's one of our returns. We have they kicked off four times, and one of them was a touchback, and the other three we we gained 50 yards, about average. See, this is Dalen. If he would have just kept left, if we right. kept left down here, we think we would have scored. But uh, great return by him. He had another another nice one later. But getting the ball at the fifty, that's huge for us in offense. That just every, everything is wide open. There's yep. nothing. You're not. You're, the, the, the playbook is wide open. We got three in the backfield too. So you, right here is I love yeah. this play. It's, it's like the it's like the tush push. Yep. But we gained worked. nine yards, nine yards when he's and well, as long as yep. as long as his feet are on the ground, and he's moving with them. I mean, it's fine. And then here's a touchdown by him, I believe. Yeah, this is where everybody's close to him. And, oh no, no it's, it's the next one. He looks like he's just about because um, there was a holding penalty here that got put it back, and he's they're like right next to him, like right here, and all of a sudden they're just not. Like if everybody's there, and like, boop, I'm done. 
yeah, just a different level. You know, his, his speed and all that stuff, he's, he's really doing a great job. So, the off, you know, as an offensive lineman, you got to love that. Just give him a crease. And he can make and those listen, kind they, of plays. I love I love their enthusiasm downfield. I love the, I love the this Galloway with a good play. Yeah, Galloway did a good job there. Um, but their enthusiasm for the touchdown is yes. I mean it's it's cool to see that they're just they're just loving it. Nice play, great here play too. there by Lester. Yeah. yeah, he he blew up a couple of those those. those yeah, screens. I love he's he's playing more physical, and that's one thing you know we said we wanted to to uh, improve on when he came here is, you know, just him being physical and he's done a great I got job. Some, I got some FSU fans ask me, how would I said, stand next to him? He's an athlete. You can see he's a bigger, he's bigger than yep. most corners. Ball gets knocked. There was a sack, sack there. Yep. We, we got after him pretty good Friday yeah, night. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and he, he can throw it. He can spin it that quarterback. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's a really, good. really yeah. good quarterback. Really good quarterback. They have good receivers. Um, we, did a, we did a nice job on defense against him. I like our uniform. Do you like those uniforms? That's it's classic. Yeah, that's yeah, good. I, but those are my favorite. That's my favorite combo right there. I think every, I think everybody likes the like the green, you know, with the white pants. That just kind of looks. And I like the pants because they got the stripe, so that's nice yep. too. Good and job by Ryan there. He has a he has a great great route down here later. This is a great run by Dooney here. Yeah, I thought for this is right here at the end go. of the half. We didn't have. I think we got the ball the minute left and. Uh, we scored in 30 seconds. Yeah. Like that was that was his play two. This is play three. Um, Gasati makes a nice catch and uh, gets us down to 10. And then this is play four. Um, we moved, you know, ran four plays, 30 seconds, uh, touchdown. Yep. And Alvin finishes it off right here. And I like the fact that he didn't try to just so – he just saw a crease and he took it right to, right to right. the goal line. Get it in there it will, no matter what it takes. So yeah, that that's the highlights just from the first half right there. So we, you know how it how it was. Uh, Got another two point where you see, I think Ryan carries them for about four yards here, three or four yards. Because they have him stopped. Yeah, and he, he gets he. So that's what he's seven. That's when you're six five. What however six how, five two two thirty. Yeah, you yeah. Can, you can carry some folks. And you clean three hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. So this is another good kickoff return. Did we, did we get the ball to start the half? I think we did. Yeah, we did. We, we deferred. So this was the opening kickoff of the second half. Yep, and this is a return by Dalen. You see right here he stays left. And uh, we almost – Gator does a nice job. See Gator out yeah, here blocking. Yeah, he's blocking. He's, he, great job. We just I missed thought, that one guy. If that's it, if he could have got him. And, again, he, he did the right thing. He didn't block him in the back, you know, so he pushed him in the back. Another catch by Ryan. I think he led the receiver. He had four. Yep. He had four. And then this is the this one. Is a, this this is a good one run by right here. Yeah. At that point, you're like, you fight if I still lay down and be done with it. Yeah, really. I didn't want him to run the ball at all, <laughs> especially with the, with the points we had. I can't, you know, I wasn't real happy about that. This is a great route by Ryan. Yeah, you're right. Hard, it's hard, hard to see, but hard, it was really see. good. Because I mean, the the guy was right. The, the defender was right Just, there. The, yeah, the DB right had could, could DB had good coverage. It. You can't beat that throw though. That route. I mean, that's tough. And this is after they scored. You have the uh, the kickoff again. Yeah, this is the last kickoff return. I think this is Malachi. Yeah, Corbett. Yeah. I thought for a second there too when he got there. I thought ah possibly, and they did a little a little glitch yeah. held him up. Because I think the kicker was way back, but I don't think it was going to make a difference. He had the whole field to beat. But him. three really good returns. Yeah, you know, so that's that's good to see. I don't think I don't think that Kasadi could not have caught that because yeah. <laughs> I think it was going to get stuck in his chest cavity. If he <laughs> didn't. Yeah, he did a nice job there. And you see, we get the young pup in here, Macho, in the backfield. This is this is where he gets to earn his stripes though, because you know he's oh, yeah, he's not yeah. getting he's, he's not getting all the holes, but he's getting he's getting his chance to run, which is we good. actually have a pretty good unit yeah. um, up front here. Um, even though I know they're twos, but you see Malachi does a nice job here. He gets the first down. I tell you, Malachi's going to be really good for us. He he makes plays. Uh, he catches the ball well. So fifty-one sixteen was the final. You can see based by the highlights that we were we were operating at. at Pretty much is where you want to see everybody at this point in time in the season. As we're again trying to progress towards being at your best. Right. That's the that's the name of, of the game. Is right now, 
you know, we want to win each game by one, and we want to get better when we're doing it. Right, right. And you can see, like I said, there's the, the, the national, all the things we talked about before the highlights. You can see what we're mentioning, where guys are making plays, guys are doing right. smart things. I will say this, and we've talked, you know, I talk about this after the game all the time. Still, with some of the penalties, you know, pre-snap penalties here and there, we're able to overcome them. But I think that's probably one thing you probably have to work on a little bit with the team. I, th- I also to- think that our our tempo is better than it's ever been right now, mm-hmm. uh, offensively. So that's one thing that we're really happy about. It's properly fast, if you know what I'm saying. It's like so yeah. there are times when it's not a snap every five seconds. Sometimes it's like, hey, you know, we we got to get get everything together. And and, and so I think a lot of times it throws people off when you're not going with the tempo. You know what I mean? If you if you slow to play down, they're like, hmm. But I that think that about? we're, you know, overall, we're, we're operating at a faster speed than we ever have. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And it, and it looks, it, it's fast because it looks right, right at the same time. With that, we'll take another time out here at, from Bogies and the John Peacock Coach Show and come back and talk about this week's opponent. It's IMG, but not the IMG National. Maybe, maybe some. They're, they're, I'm sure that some of them can, you know, yeah. bounce back and forth. But it's IMG White coming in undefeated, if I'm, if I'm undefeated, not mistaken. Yes. So we'll see how uh, what we think about those guys and see what we're going to be have for, looking forward to this Friday night at Powell Davis Stadium. Back here at Bogies and the John Peacock Coach Show after these messages. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And welcome back to the John Peacock Coaches Show. And Coach, we mentioned the opponent for tonight, or this, not tonight, for this week's game, the IMG White Ascenders. Uh, come in as, I guess, how, how do you classify them as a traditionally high school varsity football team as opposed to the national team, which is sort of like an anomaly? Or how would you how yeah, would describe so, them? Yeah, um, so they have, they, they have four teams. So they okay. have the national team. They have the white team. That's their, their varsity team. Then they have the blue team, which is – they also play a varsity schedule, but just not as tough of the schedule as the white right, team Right, they're plays. playing the, the 1S And then they schedule. have the, the grad team. Um, this week, the national team is off. They don't have a game. You know, so um, rumor is that they're going to be dropping kids down to play us, which, you know, it is, it is what, what it, it is. is. Right, you know, at that so point. So we're just – you know, we're, we're excited to play them. They're, they're, um, they, they should help us in the – um, the point rankings and the FHSA point rankings are, um, you know, I think they're one of the top 50 schools in the state as far as their, their rankings go. They're undefeated. They played some good teams. They play Palmetto. Right. Palmetto. Um, you know, so uh, I think they played Manatee in the, uh, the kickoff classic. Okay. And that was a close game. I'm not even sure who won it, to be, to be honest with you. Um, but they've, they've played, they play a normal high school schedule. So, you know, I think the I think they finish up with CA, CAI maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, they they are a good football team. They have their their quarterback has thrown 16 touchdowns, zero interceptions. They have a really good running back. Um, they're coached well. Obviously, you know, if you're at IMG, you go to school until you're 10 getting, o'clock. Right, and you're you're, getting it's all, all football. You're getting there, tutored so. and you're getting all those different things that are going to get so you. So they're going to be sharp. You know, they're going to be sharp in the field. They're going to know their assignments. They're going to they're going to be ready to play. I mean, they're going to be excited to play us. We're a local team. Um, probably uh, the highest ranked team they played. So right. they're going to be excited to play us. They're going to be in a great atmosphere at Powell Davis Stadium. So I think that's all things that they're going to be excited about. Perspectively, it is what you want to be. In, you know, if you're on that white team, this is the place you want to go to. You're going to get a really, a really big right. high school um, atmosphere. Right, playing against a good team, and they're going to come in. And I got, I got to think this was a, this was this one was starred on their schedule and saying, hey, we got Venice uh, week eight. And we, we really are, yeah, week nine. Actually. Yeah, and we got a couple of kids on our team that were actually, well, not a couple, one, mm-hmm. uh, Ryan Daly, who was on the white team last year. Um, so it'll be a big game for him, I'm oh, sure. Oh, no doubt about yeah. it. No doubt about it. Uh, traditionally, up from what IMG, you see a lot more like pro set kind of stuff. You don't see a lot of spread or anything like that. 
Are you seeing the same kind of thing? Well, with them? yeah, they're they're gonna they're multiple. I mean, they're they're in a the gun and they're they do a lot of uh, the stuff. They have usually have a tight end and um, a yo position, and they're you know they kind of use them as an H back. So right, right. Yeah, we'll see all that stuff. They're they're like I said, they're gonna be well coached. And they're gonna know their assignments and know what they're doing. They're gonna be you know efficient on what they're what they're doing you know, because they get to spend as much time as they want on football all day. So um, I don't expect anything less. Yeah, no, like I said, and, and, and uh, we did play them last year. Uh, as a matter of we fact, we did, yeah, and we, we we did we did beat them last year. We but, did win, yes. So, so. Uh, and I guess I mean, obviously, uh, for them as well. I mean, I, I guess that in some ways this could be sort of like a, a I would say maybe a tutoring pool to, to, to potentially get to that national team. I would think is some of the kids. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how it works. Yeah, uh, I don't know how that works. Um, but I, I would guess you could, you know, work yourself from the white team to the blue team. Brian Downs did. Yeah, he was on the white team. Uh, we talked about it today. I guess he was on the white team in eighth and ninth grade, and then in tenth grade he was on the national team. Right, and Nick said that. So there's got to be, and I and I think that was that was a natural progression for them because once they sort of got their the, the, figure right. out what they're going to do. I guess I guess what I, I guess he's probably unique because I'm not sure a lot of the national guys are there that long. Well, that's the thing. So you got so you would almost think like there's there's probably. I would say this: they probably graduate a lot of guys, and then they, right. they, then they have another another they have wave. Another, another wave of seniors, that right? Come but in. but do you also have, you know like anything else? I mean, you see guys that that, that are a certain size and certain weight, and whatever, and as they grow into their into their bodies and the talent level they have, right. I mean, you can see where there's probably there's probably a, a proportionally probably maybe a few you know, guys are then, getting up there. And there's also some some things about IMG that I'm not, I'm not real. I don't know how it works. Like uh, I was told, like they have like 14 quarterbacks. On the white team, and some of them like never play. They just there for um, the development. And I said, "Well, development of what? What are right. you developing for?" Like, well, I guess the 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 thought of they're going to go play in college. So there's, that's so you're telling me there's thirteen to thirteen to twelve or whoever guys whoever who play, play the next level that are sitting on the in the film room, but not they don't go to the games and they're just getting developed. And I'm like, yeah. No, you never know. Nowadays, it's it's a whole I, different ball of wax. Yeah. Saving your body, who knows what it could be? Somebody, somebody's making some decisions about that. And just a matter I, of I how would it think it would be very hard to, as a college coach to say, "Hey, we're going to give you a scholarship, but we never seen you play." Well, here's the thing: if you if you if you want if you're a golfer and you go, out, all you did was hit balls on a driving range, and then you said, "Hey, I'm going to go out there and play in the tournament," I don't know how that works. You have to have to know how you have to have to be some, like seven on seven quarterback. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. that's exactly what it comes out to be. Yeah. Exactly. With that, we'll take our final break of the night and come back here and talk about what's going to happen on Friday night. You know, we got to get a little action, get the light show, and everybody who wants to come out and watch us, we're definitely waiting and hoping you all show up for that game because it'll be a good night to have for football and a, and a very, very competitive football game. So we'll be back here at Bogies to wrap things up. We would like to take a moment to thank these sponsors for making this show a possibility. Jenkins Chevrolet, State College of Florida, Bogies of Venice, Venice Pest Control, Sarasota Ford, Absolute Aluminum, Chick-fil-A Pelican Plaza, Douglas Jeep, and Lightning Fast Car Wash. Education, career, skill. Find yours right here at the State College of Florida. If you want a flexible schedule with classes offered on campus and online, plus several program options for in-demand fields, look no further. Create your own path today at scf.edu. And coach, we're back here at the John Pika Coach Show. Let them know what we were expecting on Friday night. Nice weather, nice light weather. show, you name it, right? We've got an undefeated team coming in. You know, Friday nights, uh, not only just for us, but there's a lot of things that are going to decide the state playoffs Friday night. You got you got Palmetto and Manatee playing for a district championship. You got Riverview and Sarasota, you know, playing for the runner-up spot. Um, Sarasota still has a chance to get in. That's it. Um, I think I think definitely in the playoffs in our our class. Our region, Manatee is definitely going to be in. Riverview is definitely going to be in. Palmetto is definitely going to be in. Charlotte's already in. Lakewood Guaranteed. Ranch is on the, is on the Lakewood right Ranch now. is in right now. Um, and then you've got some teams down south with, with Gulf, Gulf Coast and Immokalee. Um, and then, of course, Venice is in. Right. You know, right. So it, it'll be, a, it'll be a, a really great region because you're going to have six teams from our area it, that are in the playoffs. Right. Yeah. Might get a might get a uh, Venice Charlotte back yeah. on the back that on the would, schedule. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, yeah. That would, and I guarantee that'd be a great crowd. And everything sifts out now. The next two weeks, we'll see where everything lies, right. and then uh, off off to go in the plus. But you want to you want to keep winning. You want to keep doing all the right things. So we need you guys out there. Seven thirty, Pal Davis Stadium. IMG White comes in. 
to play the best. Let's make sure we have them leave none, yes. not undefeated. And show them what it's like to be at yeah. high, with high school where they got right. they got the, the fans and the, everything going on. So that'd be a really fun time. Coach, thanks again for being here. You guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the John Peacock Coaches Show. Champion. At Venice High School, all we do is win. Man, it feel good to be an Indian.